obviously one of the best places to start your pursuit in finding the right light fixture is a lighting showroom. Now when you're in a lighting showroom like this, it's almost overwhelming because there's so many choices for lighting the home, both inside and out. Well, we'll start with one of the most popular types of lighting, recess lighting. Now, recess lighting is so popular and really versatile because you can provide the general lighting that you need for a room. Also, you may want to accent something in a particular room, like a focal point, maybe a piece of art or the fireplace mantle, or task lighting that directs the light exactly where you need it. Very important in a kitchen situation. Now, the recessed lighting starts with a recessed housing, or commonly called a recessed can, that consists of the housing itself, where your trim and your bulb actually is positioned. Then you have the little arms that attach it to the ceiling joist itself. Then you have the little box for the wiring to um, be put together here on this side of the housing can. Now, this is a larger one, and this is a smaller one. And again, it adds to the versatility to maybe use a little of both sizes in a particular particular room. Now, recessed lighting really is fairly easy to install and there's several different ways to approach it. In a major remodel or new construction application, the housing can be mounted from the room itself by simply positioning it in the room, hammering it in place between the joist and making all wiring connections. Then the drywall ceiling is mounted over the can and a hole is cut out of the drywall to expose the light fixture. In a finished room, you locate the fixtures and cut holes in the ceiling from the room itself, then mount the housing over the hole from the attic side of the ceiling, making the electrical connections there as well. Another way to install recessed lighting in an existing room is to use what we call a remodel can. Now this starts out with a little cardboard template that you find the location you want your light and then you use this to mark and to cut the hole that you'll need. Now once the hole's cut, you pull your wire down through that hole and go ahead and connect it. Then you fish this right into that hole and these little clips slide into place to hold it secure against the back of the ceiling itself. Then you're able to install your trim, which is the next step in recessed lighting. Once your housing's in place, then your trims are next. Now these are a couple of the very standard trims. They're called baffles. This one black, this one's white, also available in chrome and silver and some of the other um, finishes uh, so that you can define exactly how you want the fixture to look. Now these basically clip right inside this and provides light straight down in the room. Now it's not uncommon to put four, six, maybe even eight different recessed lights to really balance the light that you'll need in your room. Now another way of lighting is to maybe wash the wall a little bit, maybe an accent. This has a highly reflective film and once your bulb's in place and once you have these in position away from the wall a bit, it'll just wash that whole wall with light and it really looks good over say a fireplace mantle. Now also you have other adjustable type recessed um, lights called eyeball fixtures. Now an eyeball fixture is adjustable that you can move the fixture itself around to direct the light right where you want. On it and these are commonly used on slope ceilings where you're able to adjust the light to put it right where you want it. Now, if you have an open floor plan and maybe you have that breakfast bar between the kitchen and the breakfast room, these look great directly over that breakfast bar. Maybe three or four of these directed straight down on the surface of the bar really look nice and also work well for any of the task lighting that you may need in your kitchen. The question may be, how many recessed lights would you need in a typical room? Well, here's how this kitchen was approached. First of all, three on this side and three on this side for more of the even lighting. And then for a little task lighting, one light directly over the sink and two lights here directly over the bar. Now, of course, determining exactly how many lights you need will be determined by a number of different factors. First of all, how large is the room, how much natural light you have coming in the room, and what wattage that you have in the individual fixture. The lighting professional at the lighting showroom can help you with that.